Star Wars The Force Awakens fans think they know who the mysterious Captain Phasma might be. We actually saw very little from her in the movie, which was strange given the amount of uh, appearances she had in the commercials and in the trailers. Yeah. Uh, a lot of us were not very happy with that, but maybe she'll make a big appearance in episode eight. We don't know. Uh, but some fans have posited that she has been a part of Star Wars canon before, specifically the Ewok movies from the mid 80s. Um, and they think that she could be a character known as Sindel. Do we have an image? Look how closely they look. That could be in a cheap. Gwendolyn Christie looks like that child. Yeah. But you know, I a grown know. woman. I'm seeing curly hair on the left and Sindel straight hair on the right. Sometimes children look different, Damn, especially in their badass. hair. She does look badass. She is. I wonder I, what would be cool is, so they've upgraded it with some sort of cape and chrome. What would be cool is if uh, that armor that they wear actually stopped a blaster bolt from killing them once ever. What do you wear armor for well, if it never Sazma protects your life? Well, seems to be alive, so maybe that's what her armor that's true, did. Maybe. Her it armor Chewbacca works better crushing her. than the white armor were, that may have taken out TR-8R. Mm -hmm. um, so Sindel is, uh, she and her family crash landed on Endor, uh, only mm -hmm. to be saved by Ewoks that live there, and now I don't know what happened in that time, but now she's the leader of the First Order's stormtroopers. Supposedly. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, so I look, it's been years since I've seen that movie. When I was a kid, I watched it many times. It was I didn't like it. It was weird that it was like, okay, we're like a Star Wars movie, but like don't don't actually talk about Star Wars. Like we're like tied in a little bit with it. There were a few movies like that at the time. Um I think the odds of them being the same are low. Mm -hmm. I think that look Well, I have some more evidence to okay. provide you besides looks. Let's see the evidence. Um this comes from Pablo Hidalgo, who is responsible for Star Wars, The Force Awakens, the visual dictionary. Um, well, this isn't actually from him, because what, what the contribution from him is that he assumed the Ewoks cooked and ate her. But he is responsible for the <laughs> dictionary, like not which evidence. provides a timeline of events which make things seem plausible. Uh, in 2 BBY, Sindel was born, mm -hmm. according to Star Wars Behind the Magic. Uh, the Battle of Yavin was uh, two years later. Uh, 3 ABY, Sindel's family crash lands on Endor, meets the Ewoks. 4 ABY, Return of the Jedi. 34 ABY. Oh, before Return of the Jedi. I didn't yes, know that. she was a little child. Hmm. The Force Awakens, which puts Phasma at 36 years old during The Force Awakens. Which is entirely possible. We don't possible. know how old Phasma is, but we, we no do idea. know Gwendolyn Christie is 37 years old, which <gasps> is very close. I think they've been planning it the whole time. <laughs> Probably not. It's almost as if there are people who think about these things. So they're okay. called fans. She could be the same age, mm -hmm. but it is a very large galaxy, and I have to imagine there's something like 50 billion people I who mean, were born that year. I mean, one family's drama could change the whole galaxy. I think another family could be pretty important, sort of. She did change the, the fate of the galaxy by lowering the shields, I suppose. She was instrumental in that planet being blown up. I don't know how Here's much she thing. helped. But she didn't help the First <laughs> Order. For all we know, she was thrown into a trash compactor. Yeah. And she I, was thrown in a trash compactor. Exactly. And then within an hour, the planet explodes. Was it a priority that they empty out all the trash compactors <laughs> to get her out of there? We have no reason I mean, to believe she was I mean, their sanitation alive. team is undermanned right now. Exactly. They're missing so, their best I man. I mean, he might be, she might yeah. be fine. I don't think, look, I am an enthusiast on many nerdy things, particularly uh -huh. Star Wars, which I've seen three times <laughs> and I'm going to see for a fourth time. And I love the very in-depth analysis that people have been given that led to us knowing, although it ended up being in a novel anyway, that one of the first things that Rey sees in her, her little um, fantasy that she has after she touches the lightsaber was in fact a corridor from Cloud City. Mm -hmm. Like people identify that stuff and it's amazing that they can make those connections. But it is possible for the mind to go spinning off into the outer rim. No. And it will never be found again. No. Not by the First Order, not Confirmed. by the Confirmed. Yes. Half-Life 3 also confirmed. Jesus. Yeah. And the Illuminati. Confirmed it's and real. headed by Gwendolyn Christie. Lizard people. Yeah. Huh? I don't think it's her. Magnets, how do they work? I'm sorry. You can't explain that. <laughs> Jesus. I don't think it's her. It would okay, be cool. I am I am destroying the credibility of this by saying it's gone. shouting these things. These ridiculous things. Uh, I think it could be possible. It's probably not true though. In in, in my opinion at least. Audience, what do you think? I'd like to know that too. Could Phasma have a history with the Ewoks and Endor <laughs> and being a force for good and being a cute blonde child? Let us know below in the comments and please like and subscribe for more.